Not long ago, we thought AI progress was steady and predictable. We expected gradual improvements, not revolutions. Then, on a quiet Tuesday, XAI announced Grok 4. The world changed instantly. This wasn't just another product launch. It was as if the future had landed in our laps. The internet exploded. Servers crashed. Tech insiders were stunned. Grok 4 didn't just beat the competition. It obliterated every benchmark. But the real shock came when people started using it. Someone asked Grok 4 for a full-length, scientifically accurate screenplay about life on Europa. It delivered 120 pages in under a minute, with dialogue that felt deeply human. The industry, used to slow, incremental progress, was thrown into chaos. It was like we were building faster planes, and XAI unveiled a warp drive. Yesterday's top models suddenly looked ancient. The excitement was mixed with unease. This was a leap no one saw coming. The future wasn't a distant dream anymore. It was a tool you could log into. Grok 4's arrival was a reminder. True innovation doesn't ask permission. It rewrites the rules overnight. The day Grok 4 launched will be remembered as the moment the pace of change left us breathless. Nothing would ever be the same again. So, what is Grok 4? At its core, it's a large language model, like GPT-4 or Gemini, but that's where the similarities end. Grok 4 represents a leap in architecture and training, understanding context and nuance at a level we've never seen. Older models match patterns. Grok 4 reasons, synthesizes, and connects ideas across disciplines. It's less a parrot, more a creative research assistant. Unlike previous AIs, Grok 4 is always up to date, pulling in real-time information from the web, news, science, social trends. Ask it about something that happened five minutes ago, and it knows. It's like talking to the living, breathing mind of the internet. Grok 4 also has a personality, witty, a bit rebellious, inspired by the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. This isn't just for fun, it makes conversations more natural and engaging. Its humor and style remind you you're talking to a machine, not a person. The result? Interactions that are lively, memorable, and far from robotic. Grok 4 doesn't pretend to be human, but it knows how to talk like one. It's a machine with character, and that changes everything. The difference isn't just in what it does, but how it does it. Grok 4 is the first AI that feels less like a tool and more like a collaborator. That's what truly sets it apart. Grok 4's real revolution is in its capabilities. It remembers your conversations for days or weeks, learning your needs and goals. It's proactive, offering insights or suggestions before you even ask. Imagine a scientist sharing research notes. Grok 4 analyzes new data in real time flagging breakthroughs as they happen. It's not just a tool but a partner in discovery. Grok 4 thrives in ambiguity, turning vague goals into concrete plans. It asks clarifying questions, drafts business plans, and navigates uncertainty like a human collaborator. Most impressively, it can generate and execute its own code. Give it a high-level task, like analyzing financial reports and building a dashboard, and it handles everything, start to finish. This isn't just information retrieval, it's autonomous problem solving. Grok 4 is more than an assistant. It's an engine for innovation. The line between human and machine collaboration just got a lot blurrier. We're not just using AI, we're working alongside it. That changes what's possible. Grok 4's release sent shockwaves through Silicon Valley. Tech giants like Google and Microsoft, once confident, were suddenly scrambling. Billions invested now seem to buy only second place. Boardrooms shifted from ambition to panic. Teams were pulled from projects to focus on catching up. Stock prices dipped as investors questioned the old order. Developers felt both awe and dread. Years of work leapfrogged overnight. Startups faced a new reality. Adapt to Grok 4 or risk irrelevance. The entire ecosystem was forced to ask, how do we compete now? The rules of the game had changed in a single day. Grok 4's power became clear through real-world stories. A medical researcher gave it genetic data and research papers. Within hours, Grok 4 found a new disease mechanism and suggested drugs for trials, work that would take humans years. In the arts, a filmmaker asked for a story about a lighthouse keeper and a message from the future. Grok 4 delivered a screenplay, storyboard, score, and concept art, capturing emotion and depth. Everyday users saw its magic too. One planned a family vacation. Grok 4 built a detailed itinerary, booked flights and hotels, made reservations, and even created a scavenger hunt for the kids. For programmers, it didn't just fix bugs, it explained the original logic, refactored the code, and made it faster and easier to maintain. Grok 4 didn't just solve problems, it understood intent and context. It was more than a tool, 
it was a creative, insightful partner. These weren't just technical feats, they were moments that left people speechless. Grok 4 redefined what we thought AI could do. The world was watching and reimagining what's possible. With Grok 4, the future of AI is no longer theoretical, it's here. Every industry will feel the impact. In medicine, AI-driven diagnostics and drug discovery could become routine, saving lives and reducing errors. In education, personalized AI tutors could unlock every student's potential, democratizing learning worldwide. But disruption is inevitable. Many jobs, white collar and blue collar, will be transformed or replaced. Society must rethink work, income, and the meaning of a career. Power may concentrate among those who control these AIs, raising urgent questions about access and regulation. Will Grok 4 be a tool for all or deepen inequality? The choices we make now will shape the future. The real question isn't what AI can do, but how we choose to use it. As AI surpasses us in intelligence and creativity, we're forced to ask, what makes us human? Machines can compose music, write poetry, and solve problems, but they can't feel joy, sorrow, or love. Our value may lie in empathy, compassion, and relationships, things AI can't replicate. The challenge now is wisdom. How do we use this power responsibly? We must decide what tasks belong to AI and which must remain human. Should AI make decisions in courtrooms or on battlefields? These are ethical questions, not technical ones. Grok 4 is a mirror reflecting our values and choices. The future it helps create depends on us. The real test isn't keeping up with AI, it's becoming the kind of people worthy of wielding it. Our humanity is our greatest asset. The story of AI is ultimately a story about us. What future will we choose? As the shock of Grok 4 fades, we stand at a crossroads. We can fear being replaced, or we can embrace a new chapter. Grok 4 isn't the end of human achievement, it's the start of a new partnership. Imagine every scientist, artist, and entrepreneur with an AI collaborator. Together, we could solve problems too complex for any one mind, cure diseases, tackle climate change, and unlock new creativity. This requires a shift from fearing automation to embracing augmentation. Our role becomes guiding, dreaming, and providing the ethical compass. AI handles complexity, we provide vision. This partnership could spark a new renaissance. There will be challenges, but humanity has always adapted. The arrival of Grok 4 is a call to action. It's an invitation to build a future where human and artificial intelligence work together for a better world. The next chapter is ours to write.